This is the soft top convertible for the TR2. Uh, this is the one window style, as you can see at the back there, it's just got the one window. So it's only ever original for the very, very early TR2s. Uh, check our website for details on the chassis number, uh, but just um, bear in mind, uh, it was quite rare for them to have the one window style in them. Uh, practically as well, not the best. You can barely see anything when you're reversing. Obviously, the slightly later ones had windows in the left and right uh, areas of the sort of quarter panels. Uh, the rear window on the one piece, uh, one window version was ever slightly smaller and curved as well, sort of oval shape on there. So it's been done to original spec for the very early TR2. This is obviously the underside of it. This has been done in a PVC material. We can also offer it in mohair. Uh, see our website for more details on colours. So, as I say, one window at the back, uh, it's a pro plastic window, has original, uh, sewn all the way around, there's original and edged, uh, it has all the sort of gutter channels on it, uh, it has this draft excluder on the very leading edge there, so that sort of flaps around the windscreen area. Um, it's a three-piece version of the hood, so you get these sort of different panels to it effectively. Uh, the later TR3As, uh, they effectively made it in one big piece, which made it harder to get a neater finish, but this is the original for the TR2 and uh, other versions, obviously, regardless of the window element of it. So this is the face of it. Just be careful with the windows. So you can see the panels at the back here, all sewn in, etc. And all the little channels going around the side, gutter channels, etc. So, yeah, we sell that and you get your female um, fixings included in there as well. Uh, bear in mind with uh, soft top hoods and other weather equipment items, they are quite tricky to fit correctly. And they're also very unforgiving, unlike interior trim, where you can normally have a couple of goes at these sorts of things if you're getting... Uh, bits here and there wrong with hoods because of where the fixings go etc they go inside all of these bits here and the fact that you want it tight like a drum when it's on the car so no bagginess you really only have one shot at fitting it correctly um and so we always recommend seeking professional advice preferably from someone that has experience with that particular car because one hood to another hood from car to car does vary quite massively in terms of the way it's fitted. Uh, we can always offer help and advice and we do recommend that either yourself or your professional trimmer contact us beforehand if they have any questions whatsoever. Because like I say, once you start making holes in certain areas on these hoods, if you get it wrong, uh, there's no hiding that hole really. Okay.